Hey friends, you might have heard if you tuned in to worship this morning, the word Pentecost. Pentecost is a day that we celebrate in the life of the church and we are going to read a book this evening around it. It is called The Day When God Made Church. And this is by Rebecca McLeod Hutto. We all gather and wait. Jesus is gone and we are nervous. Everyone is curious to meet the one that Jesus would send us. The room is dark. Men, women, old people, young people, and animals wait. Wait for something to happen. Suddenly, the animals move with excitement. What's that noise? It grows louder. It feels like wind, and it pounds like drum beats. It fills the room loud and full. Then the room grows brighter. Something hot and blazing shines on us. Darkness is gone. Fire fills the cold space. Now we feel warm inside our bodies. Smiles paint our faces. We all know something new is happening. We feel our hearts change inside. Is this what Jesus promised? A new sound comes. Words. Words like raindrops fall across the room. Some with loud sounds. Some with quiet whispers. Words like drum beats, words that tiptoe through the air. People crowd around. They hear the words. They recognize the languages. Something new is happening. The Holy Spirit has arrived. Everyone around me begins to ask questions. Who is this Holy Spirit? What is happening? Why do we feel so different? Why do we hear so many languages? Peter stands. He walks around looking at each of us. I wonder. Is he going to speak? Then Peter opens his mouth. He starts to preach. His powerful voice fills the spaces around us and between us. Friends, something new is happening. Jesus has given us a wonderful gift. Don't be surprised if all you start if you all start to preach and dream too. Young and old men and women, we are all called to something new. God is changing us so we can see old things in a new way. We all listen as Peter tells the story of God's love in Jesus. He reminds us all what Jesus taught us. We hear again how Jesus loves us.
We remember when Jesus healed our friends, told us stories, and shared good news. We listen as Peter describes the day, that horrible day, when Jesus hung on the cross, and we remember how sad we were. The dark clouds covered the sky. The earth shook. Jesus died to save us. But our sadness did not last forever. Peter reminded us that soon there was joy, laughter, and dancing. Jesus came back to us. God raised him from the dead and gave us new life. We all hear the word Peter preaches, and the Holy Spirit changes us. The rivers of baptism pour out, and we feel God's love. A love for us, our families, our friends, and even people who are far away. People, people everywhere all hear this good news. We all begin this new life together. We become a new family. We share our things, we break bread together, and we worship God. This is what we call the day of Pentecost, the day when church was born. Men and women, boys and girls, people from everywhere, we are filled with the Holy Spirit as we worship Jesus, alive and risen. Alleluia. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe understand Pentecost a little better. Happy Pentecost!